but let's begin with the first one which is man city versus real madrid now i admit mm. akarsh i was wrong uh, <laughs> yes you were <laughs> i don't know i don't know if we discussed this uh in previous episodes of the podcast but offline both we discussed it on on the show and the offline i've been Fair. saying manchester city is going to win it yeah you've been saying man city is going to win it i still fucking hope that does not happen primarily because it's man city uh and mm. and they they're the kind of twats that will put that one star on top of their press wo chuti aap nahi chahiye nahi chahiye uh so so i hope they don't win but uh, against all odds uh, in my head at least because well the odds were firmly in their favor uh, they beat uh, real madrid 2-1 at home at the etihad therefore getting a 4-2 aggregate victory and i don't was, think it's against the odds at all yeah it's not it's not i agree it's not it's only yeah, against yeah. odds in my head yeah. real yeah. madrid have only won the champions league what 11 12 times and three times in a row you know it's just simple usual stuff right so why mm. would the odds be stacked against a team that has never fucking won it in their history i don't know but i think just the first leg to one uh, lead that man city had was yeah you know, to yeah stack the odds in their favor but it could have gone the other way cuz Real Madrid primarily lost because of Rafael Varane. Uh, both the goals were his mistakes, and even yeah. after the first one, Benzema got one back. So, so yeah. it was game on, and and for a long time, it was it could have gone either way, and you would at that point have expected Real Madrid to well be Real Madrid, and and knock uh, City out, but that wasn't to be. You know, honestly, agreed. Of course, both the goals were Varane's fault, and he even came out and admitted to it. He said this was completely my loss, and I apologize. My teammates, the usual jargon. But even apart from those, apart from the goals, Manchester City definitely had the better chances. Much right. better chances. You know, yeah, all the it. shots that Madrid even had on target were fairly comfortable saves for Edison to make, barring maybe. One from Benzema late in the yeah. first half. Yeah, but and City yeah, looks quite comfortably in control. City, yes, that is that you have to you have to give it to City because they did look uh, in control and 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 they played like Man City. You know, oftentimes you see clubs right. with no history in a competition like the Champions League. uh i keep rubbing that in by the way uh but uh, <laughs> uh you see them kind of adapt and change their tactics especially if they when they're going up against uh, a club like real madrid uh mm. but credit to guardiola he didn't he didn't he didn't change things around he played exactly the way city have always played uh, which is just fast free flowing attacking easy on the eye football and honestly real madrid had had no response to that like they looked deflated yeah. and defeated and and varan's mistakes just added to that and yeah. it's it's typically unlike rafael varan to do that because he's regarded as one of the world's best defenders yeah uh, shows that everyone has a bad day yeah. he just chose a very very uh, bad game to have a bad day yeah i mean there Did aren't you... really any good games to have bad days <laughs> yeah you know but if it was a game in the league say Yeah. You can fear be a four to uh, make up for it later, but here in the Champions League knockout. I mean, I can I can only think of the Roots Premier League first game week match. Akash for your team, the the that's the, exactly the, the, the yeah. Goal it's okay was, to have was, bad was, day. Was that a good game to have a bad day? No, it Asking wasn't. Asking tough questions. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it just everyone has bad days, man. Sometimes you can't. Might not discuss but, that for our listeners. What exactly yeah. happened? No, we don't. Akash Rafael Varane did. Not really. My defense was also Varane did it twice. At fault. No, my defense was also at fault. Let's not get into that. But wow, did you all? Did you all see? That blames the defenders. What a shame. Yeah. Yeah. But did you <laughs> did you all watch? Did you all see the photos of Guardiola and Zidane uh, talking at the end talking of the game? Talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. Talking at, at talking to at each the other end of the, the game. game. 
Uh, at the end of the game, uh, uh, everyone had gone. They were sitting at the touchline. Uh, Guardiola was sitting, Zidane standing next to him, and they seemed to be having a talk. I wonder what they were talking about. Like, I'm guessing they weren't discussing shampoo, conditioner, brand. So, were they talking football? Were they talking, you know? I'd love to be a fly on, well, there's no wall, but on the ground. I mean, you can use their scalps as. as <laughs> You know, they keep swatting me away. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Like, it, it, I'm sure it was a discussion about football because Guardiola doesn't have anything else to talk about. I don't think Guardiola has like a life outside of football. Uh, mm. He's like one of those really intense sort of football managers that lives and you know that the, the cliche. I live and breathe and eat and sleep football. Like he probably and, uh, does that. Like his nightmares. Are like players in his team. Kevin uh, De Bruyne getting injured. No, fuck that. He can still deal with Kevin De Bruyne getting injured because of the He's Pep Roulette. He'll always that. get like Ilkay Gundogan in there, or I mean, David Silva up until, well, three days ago. But, you know, mm. he'd, he'd always have like a replacement ready. Like his nightmares must be, oh shit, you know, the Sheikh has just called me and said, you know, Pep, for the next match, let's try a 3 5 1. <laughs> And and Pep is like, what what does what what do those numbers mean? What is that? No, I think we should park the bus. What bus? There's no bus. There's, I've never ever seen a bus in my life. I only drive supercars. What the fuck is wrong with you, Sheikh? Uh, but yeah. it'll also be like, why are we playing a three-five-one? Are we starting with a red card? Matlab, at least give me a full squad. Three-five-two. Sorry. Three, five, two. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Amog actually had to go 3 plus 5 plus Oh yeah, I could see that process happening Bhai log, ye edit hoga <laughs> Ye episode se pura edit hoga Kyunke edit to hum hi karte hai uh, Yeah uh, So uh, uh, yeah, Or two champions league jayega Two champions league jayega Haan, matlab, ah, sorry, sorry. Ke ke, main udar champions league jaake trigonometry ke equations mein solve karne wala main main khud jaane wala bhi nahi matlab uh, that would be a champions league that would be lovely to watch just ronaldo and messi going at it with arithmetic uh, <laughs> that would be fucking fantastic and the winner of the champions league is shakuntala devi 